closing show for Audi Fashion Festival to check out all the people who are decked out for the event. And we spotted many fab folks, including these two it girls who actually love local labels. And here we have the very beautiful Tallulah Harlick, friend, the British it girl. So, what are you wearing today? I am wearing vintage from, bought especially from Jill Stewart in New York, downstairs of her store. She has an incredible vintage section, and this was one of the pieces that I got. Very nice. I've never heard of this vintage section. Is it for privileged guests only? Uh, it's not actually, but I suppose it's a little trinket of a place. Everyone should go there. It's wonderful vintage in New York because there are a lot of very expensive places like New York Vintage that's really phenomenal but very pricey. And if you just, I suppose you wouldn't notice it until you go into the Jill Stewart shop and be amongst Jill Stewart and then secretly downstairs. There's this whole section of vintage. It's great. If, if we drop your name, will we get discounts? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No use to me, woman. No use to me. You have no shame. You have no shame. Okay. What about your shoes and your accessories? Uh, well, my bag is from Chanel, as we know. Yes. And then my favorite my... bag, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and then my shoes are from Topshop. Oh, very nice. A trusty London favorite. Very nice. And what is your usual sense of style? Do you know, I've been asked this a lot in the last few days, and it's so hard. It's emerging because I, it's too, there are too many different things that inspire me and enlighten me and that I want to wear for it to be one particular sense of style. So the past few days, you've been wearing um, a lot of local labels, a lot of Singapore labels. How has that been? What do you love about it? Do you know, I love the fluidity of the fabrics, and I suppose because it's of the climate, they're a lot freer in the movement and the feel of the fabrics as well, which is what's... But I don't get so much of back in London because it's so cold. So, so. what uh, designers actually stick out in your head right now? Raoul. I wore a lot of Raoul and all dressed up. And then there were, there were brands whose names I actually can't pronounce. <laughs> I wore this amazing dress to the Mugler show that's by someone... Like and I'm really sorry, like Elioni or Elohi or uh, Elohim. Elohim. It was sexy, it was right for Mugla, I was really happy to be in it. Okay, when you travel, I mean you came here for a fashion week, you can't bring your whole closet with you. So what fashion staples did you bring around? High heels. They were my saviour. They were what was most of my bag effectively. And right now we have the lovely Tracy Phillips. Hello. Hello. I have lost my voice, but hello. It's very sexy. Okay, tell us what you're wearing tonight. Uh, I'm wearing L'Envoi. Nice. And, um, this bag is from uh, Rouge Rouge, one of the designers at Blueprint. And yeah. the shoes? Um, Jesse Campbell, if you'd believe it. So uh, you've been wearing a lot of local this whole week. Yes, I have. Why didn't you ask me yesterday and the day before? And the day before. <laughs> Yes. I got this from Road Raiders. Oh, nice. Yeah. So nice. At Road Raiders? Yeah. Oh, you lucky thing. Yeah, so in a way, I was still supporting a local business. Uh -huh. Do you think yeah. Singapore fashion has what it takes to me? I mean, I had a lot of good feedback from all the international buyers that were in town for Blueprints. And I think definitely, just give it a couple more years. And in fact, this year, I think a lot of people have already been picked up. 